NAFTA lets the United States, Canada, and Mexico trade with each other without paying import taxes known as tariffs or duties. Like any free trade agreement, NAFTA has rules of origin. These rules require goods to have a certain amount of content made by the trading partners to receive NAFTA benefits. The Trump trade team wants to toughen NAFTA's rules of origin to require even more content from within the region. The stated goal is to make sure that manufacturers outside North America aren't unfairly getting NAFTA's discount by shipping products into the U.S. through Canada or Mexico. So why might tightening these rules backfire? Take the example of a car made in Mexico. Right now, for a finished car to enter the U.S. duty-free, NAFTA requires 62.5% of the value of the car to be made in North America, which is already very high compared to free trade agreements in other regions. If the car has less than this amount, it can still be exported to the U.S., but will face a 2.5% tariff when it enters U.S. borders. Suppose rules were tightened so that 70% of the car's value had to come from the region to qualify for duty-free treatment. Would that increase the North American content of goods? Not necessarily. If it costs more to buy those additional parts in the region, Mexican manufacturers might go for a different option, find cheaper parts from other regions, such as Asia or Europe, and simply export the car to the U.S. with the 2.5% tariff instead. It's an easy business decision. If buying parts from within the region raises the costs of the car by more than the 2.5% tariff, companies will look elsewhere for parts. Trading through the tariff instead of NAFTA gives them complete flexibility in their sourcing decisions. They can now export a car with far less regional content than even the old rule demanded. And the car companies would also not have the added burden of tracking the origin of each and every car part down to the last decimal point to comply with NAFTA rules. So tightening the rules of origin could do the exact opposite of the administration's goal and result in less North American content and no new American jobs. There is a better way. Reduce and simplify the rules of origin. With freer markets, North American manufacturers could produce cheaper goods and be more competitive with other countries. Simplifying rules of origin would also reduce administrative costs. People around the world would buy more North American-made goods, which would enable companies to hire more workers. By reducing and simplifying rules of origin, the administration could give producers more incentive to manufacture in the region, leading to benefits for American companies, workers, and consumers. This is Carolyn Freund with the Peterson Institute for International Economics.